Hey guys, welcome back to Ollie Talks Airsoft. Today, as you can see in front of you, is a Take Emery Colt Government Mark IV Series 70 gas blowback pistol. Although it's not anymore, it's gone through a few changes and it's probably going to go through a few more. So, without further ado, let's see what I've done to it. So, it's not a Series 70 anymore. It's a 1911A1. So, this is one of the, I believe it's a 2017 or 2019 uh, Garda kit. So, it's one of their newer Garda kits. Um, and despite the fact that it's, it's actually not made for the Series 70, I, it was a drop in. Um, I did manage to fit everything fine with probably the most difficult part to fit being the rear sight uh, which is why there's a couple of little chips here and you'll have no doubt have seen the two fat scrapes down the side here which is why you'll never see me recommend a Phobos holster. So I bought the ori gun originally back in 2014 so I've taken this out to a lot of games um, I think, like anyone that's run a, a 1911 platform, the biggest weakness is, is going to be obviously your mag, the, basically the amount of gas that you can hold in this. Um, a high capper has as many BBs and twice, if not more, of the gas volume. So this is going to be your, uh, your major weakness here. So especially in the colder months, uh, if you're going to try and run this magazine with, especially with a metal slide, or if you've upgraded the springs, as I have in this one, then you're, you're going to have some problems. Um, this is very much a summer gun. Uh, this is gun for warmer temperatures, warmer climbs. So that was about three or four seconds to completely fill the, the magazine. As you can see, I put some tape on the side of it here. Uh, that's just to give it a slightly better, it was to give it a slightly better fit in the mag well. Um, since I've put this kit in, um, I don't really need this tape anymore, but it's if I take it off, it'll leave a sticky residue. It's not harming anything by being on there, so leave it. So, even with the tape, the magazine goes in easily drops free very easily as well. I'll see this being a 1911 until you've caught the gun nothing will work and also it has the uh, the beaver tail safety built in here which functions as it's supposed to. It probably took me between half an hour and 45 minutes to transpose all of the parts from the original gun um, into the into the metal chassis and I believe that it actually, it only cost about 70 or 80 pounds. Um, it was where I picked it up from, it was very, very cheap. Um, and actually the more expensive part of it was buying a, a steel barrel, uh, which I do like a steel barrel because I, I do think it adds a bit of weight to the platform. Um, it does add a bit of weight to the platform. And I must say the actual, uh, the finishing, Certainly around the uh, the barrel bushing is excellent. You've got some um, some rifling uh, in there as well. And as you'd expect, there aren't any any seam lines or anything like that on here. The actual finish on this is um, it's very good. Uh, you'll notice some some gaps around uh, around the mag release on the other side. I don't know whether that's because I've transposed a, uh, a Series 7 to in, into a 1911 and there were maybe a few a few subtle differences but it works fine for me. Um, so I think in, in the future um, if I do come across a 1911 then I will probably try and put this uh, Series 70 back to its original state and put this body onto the 1911. Um, simply because uh, it will have the correct hammer and things like that. Uh, other things that I quite like to do is 
these bits are kind of shiny black uh, so if there's a way that I can swap those out for steel then I'll probably try and find a way to do that. Uh, the grips that I got here are from QRF um, which is a shop in Hong Kong. Uh, I believe they're supposed to be uh, G10. Uh, I have no way of telling whether they really are or not but uh, they're very comfortable um, and they certainly uh, they're quite um, they're quite sort of aggressive uh, they're actually one of my favorite features this with with the actual gray this isn't a black gun this is a gray gun so this is sort of black it looks like next to it so you can see that it is nice that it's got that that two-tone finish so this is using a stock Tokyo Marine nozzle and a stock Tokyo Marine blowback unit it's not one of the big bore ones so it's just regular so let's um take the safety off I'm gonna hold the uh, well we'll do one shot without make sure the slide catch works seems to work fine so I'll keep holding that down So as you can see, the um, the trigger that you get on a 1911, um, they're pretty legendary for being uh, for being able to shoot quite quickly. And as you can see, like I'm not a particularly fast shooter. I've got friends that can shoot a heck of a lot faster than I can. Um, but so even for for someone like me, I find it quite easy to uh, to get shots off quickly. I really like this platform. Um, yeah, like I said, I'll I'll do some more videos in the future when I've done a couple more upgrades, and I can show you a little bit more about it. But certainly, if you were thinking about buying a a guard or metal kit um, for a 1911, but you've only got a Series 17, you were thinking about dropping it in, dropping it on, dropping it in, whatever. Um, <clears throat> it'll work. It'll, it'll it doesn't take. Um, you don't have to get a file out or anything. I think with some of the older Garda stuff, that was um, not very good. Um, and you'd have to get your file out and you'd have to do a lot of fit and finishing. Uh, with this, it wasn't really like that. It was pretty much a drop in. And for a short time, I had a Volante blowback unit in here. And it actually didn't work as well as just the stock Tokyo Marie one. So I've just gone back to, to the stock, uh, stock internals in the slide. But anyway, that was a quick look. I'll... I'll keep you informed when I do when I do updates to this gun and when I make changes and get some new parts I will um I'll try and keep you guys in the loop on what I'm doing. Uh, hopefully you found this video interesting, uh, informative even. Um, if you have let me know. If you're not, pff, never mind. Um, I'll see you on the next video guys.